the functions of the pelvic floor. As it sits, as we said, at the pelvic outlet, um, it holds up our organs. It supplies the ability to hold in feces, gas, and urine, which is also called the ability of continence. So any disturbance with that would be called incontinence. So the pelvic floor muscles provide continence for us. This um, needs them to be strong, but also have the ability to relax. That means we need to have coordination about those muscles. Okay, We need to be in control of that. On the other hand, we want to have a healthy sexual function, which also needs the ability to release, relax the muscles. Also, the muscles, as we talked about before, layer one, need to have the ability to create and maintain a healthy um, erection in the clitoris as well as the penis. And uh, another function would be the stability and overall um, function that we will further explore in the connection with the core muscles, right, which are up here. So there are in direct connection with the pelvic floor, providing an amount of stability um, for the core system, as well as the sump and pump function, as we call it, in relationship to the blood and lymphatic system. So also here, if the pelvic floor is too tight and is not mobile, there will be an issue with blood supply and blood flow, since this is also a uh, quite central um, connection between the upper and the lower um, half of the body. So also there we have the function of um, flow and supply. To um, conclude the function of the pelvic floor muscles, they are providing us with support for our internal organs. They are helping us with our bladder, bowel and sexual control. And they're also supporting overall stability of the core muscles. If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.